Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week I'm in Grand Forks, North Dakota to check out a couple of the slickest show cars you'll ever see. And these cars are owned by Wes Rydell, and they were designed by Chip Foose. But a lot of the fabrication was done right in Wes's toy shop here in Grand Forks by Doug Peterson and his merry band. I gotta tell you, I think these are some of the most gorgeous cars I've ever seen. And if I had to bet, I guess you'll think so too. Well, Doug, what a beautiful day in Grand Forks. Is it always this way in North Dakota? It's a little colder in the winter. Sometimes but, a little bit colder. Yeah. <laughs> well, what a great day to have a couple great cars out. Now, these are these are uh, a couple from Wes Rydell's collection, and they're both right. Chip Foose cars, right? Yes. Well, we've got we've got the uh, the Grandmaster, and we got the Cool Air, mm -hmm. two fabulous faves of mine. But let's talk about the Grandmaster first. Now, I first saw sure. this car. At, at a show called Eyes on Design at the at GM Tech Center six years ago or something like that. Right. And uh, all those cars, those beautiful concept cars in the 50s and, and, and all that, Duesenbergs and all sorts of wild high-end cars. I walked by this car and I stopped cold. I just, it's just drop-dead gorgeous. I, I love it. And Chip happened to be there and I chatted with him a bit then, but I always wanted to do a more up-close look at this car. It's a 35 Chevy Master Deluxe, right? Yes. That was not really the prettiest car. Chev ever made? No, we called it the Toad. <laughs> appropriately, appropriately so. Well, I was noticing this is kind of, this sort of dishes in, curves in a little bit. Right, on a stock 35 Master, uh, that would have been a straight line from the cowl to the grill shell, and we just wanted to to keep the shape a little kinda more get this flowing. flow. Mm -hmm. And the, the grill, I mean, that looks sort of like a 35, but it's but it's obviously been fairly heavily modified. Yes, the grill shell's been, been thinned up quite a lot and also leaned back. Wow. Uh, headlight buckets? Uh, 1939 Chevrolet shortened about three uh -huh. and a half inches with a King B uh, trim ring and lamp assembly. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, and the, and the fenders look like they've been set out a bit? or We actually used the roughly the outside half of the fender, and mm -hmm. because the grill was moved back and laid back, we had to change most of the inside of it to, to blend into the grill shell properly again. And it's all... It's all metal. It's all steel. But the back is what I think is probably the most beautiful part of this car. And, and it, it's not all that different than a 35 Master Deluxe, but you've really made it work somehow. Yeah, the, the original car, this whole back panel was much more vertical. Uh -huh. And uh, by leaning it forward, it created a softer roof line here that it just helps the whole car flow a little better. Mm. And how about the taillights? Uh, again, 39 Chevrolet. The chip's also known for very clean interiors, and I think this is a gorgeous interior, uh, all, you know, all around. And, and one of the things I like about it is is how it, it's, it flows all the way from the dash, around to the side, around to the back, and, and all, I mean, completely around. It, it's just, it's just one, it's like it's one feel, it's like it's one piece. It looks like you shrunk a uh, Chev steering wheel. Exactly, 55 Bel Air wheel. Uh reduced in diameter about three inches. And then with the orange pinstriping and then a little bit of black detail setting that off, it's just, I mean, it, it's just fabulous. I love it. Now, Chip's known for equally understated engine compartments. What it, what's, what's she look like? Yeah. Again, just incredibly clean. What What's hiding under there? It's a 96 Corvette uh, LT4 Grand Sport engine. Uh, again, grand, the grand theme, right? Right. Right, 4L60E automatic transmission and uh, Corvette-based independent rear suspension. And you've got the two-tone inside, and you've got the orange pinstripe. Is this fiberglass, or is this all metal? It's all form? steel. Oh, man. Um, this is actually a, a duct or plenum that wraps around the side of the radiator and brings fresh on each, air to the engine. On each engine. side, they just come up and... Yes, and the air filter's inside that. I like, I like the uh, cap there. Little access for oh, the radiator nice. cap. <laughs> wow. Now, Riddler Award winning car, you know, fabulous show car. Um, but Chip's cars really typically do run. This one runs this great. This one runs great. And does, uh, does Wes drive them at all? You bet. 
I think, Wesley, mind if, if we took it out? Let's go for a ride. How about if I drove? Absolutely. All right, <laughs> close her up, let's go. Okay. Contact. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Well, this baby drives awfully nice. We actually built it as if it was going to be a, a car that you could hop in and drive across country. We haven't really done that, but... Uh, but it's capable of it. I, I really think it is. Even the name of the car, we asked, we asked Chip, what are we going to call it? And uh, he thought for a moment and he said, how about the Grand Master? We said, great, but how did you come up with that? And he said, well, it's a Master Series Chevrolet. You guys are from Grand Forks. Oh, Let's call it the Grand Master. Oh, I didn't know that that makes perfect sense. I thought it was just such a Grand Master, but it's Master Deluxe from Grand Forks. I love exactly. it. Is it a 700R4 transmission? Or? 4L60E, so the electronic of course. <laughs> version of that same thing. What was I thinking? <laughs> this was the only body style Chevrolet ever did, by the way, that, that had suicide hinge doors. The only year and the only body style that they did that on. Oh, so it came this way. You guys didn't suicide these doors. They were they opened this way. They originally really? were a suicide hinge, yes. Wow. We went to uh, a good guys car show event out at Charlotte last fall. As part of the event, you could get the cars out on the track and make some laps around Lowe's Motor Speedway. That was really great fun. With this car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet that was. So when you had it out on the track, how did she handle? It felt great. I was uh, I was actually driving. I was up in the high line, up where Junior usually runs. <laughs> <laughs> that had to be a kick. And this had to be the slickest looking car out there. It really does look amazing when it's moving. The car isn't really a car, I guess, until you actually see it moving. Otherwise, it's just a piece of art. Still ahead? We'll check out another Foos Design masterpiece. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Doug, the Grand Master is, in fact, fairly grand, isn't it? It is. <laughs> but let's talk about this cool, cool air. Another great Chip Foos, Wes Rydell, Doug Peterson collaboration here. Uh, 54 Chevy Bel Air. Another, yeah. not really the prettiest car ever built. Right, the Tri-5's got a lot more attention. They really did. Uh, but you guys have chosen to make this one live again and, and live beautifully. Done some work here too, uh, but it seems very subtle, even more subtle than, than the transformation of the Grand Master. It still looks fairly 54, but not. What all, what all have you done? A lot of subtle changes. The 55 headlight eyebrows, uh -huh. we felt lengthened the fenders. Uh, the front bumper is from a 56. Um, the hood has been pie cut, lowered, probably about an inch in the front just to take some of the pudginess out of the nose of the car. You know, that's what I would call these cars. They were kind of just pudgy. I love the wheels too. And when I first saw those, I thought, oh, are those billet? And I said, no, no, I see some, some Allen heads there. They, they must be hubcaps. They actually are billet. The Allen heads hold a small hubcap on in the center that uh, gives you access to the lug nuts, but they're a billet wheel that's designed to look like the 54 Bel Air hubcap. Interior's gorgeous, again subtle, and copper and cream coming through once again. Right. Now, is that a 55 dash? It is. Yeah, just, I like the symmetry of the 55 dash, uh -huh. so I kind of proposed that idea to Chip. The 53, 54 dashes were, were not symmetrical at all, and uh -huh. I thought this just had a, a much neater feel to it. And, and uh, you know, uh, I like the, the perforated leather. You don't see that used a heck of a lot, but that is a nice comfort feature. It's a nice comfort feature and a kind of a nice design accent as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, how about uh, the side trim, which is kind of 54 and again, kind of not? We had to relocate the side trim because we raised the wheel openings in the car to accommodate the low ride height so uh -huh. that the wheels can turn without rubbing. Now, how about back here? We've got what looks like 54 taillights. They are 54 uh, tail light lenses, um, Frenched into a sort of a mild custom type housing. A little extension here. Right. Then the chrome bezel was uh, was again created in brass with the little scallops in it to mimic the headlight uh -huh. trim rings. Nice. Uh, the trunk, I can't believe you left the trunk alone. 
No, we didn't uh, put that on a diet as well. It's uh, <laughs> it's wedge cut and uh, actually quite a bit of material uh, removed through the the back portion of it, and the shape softened up. Just it just really did it smoothed the car out a heck of a lot. Now I, I imagine uh, we've done something wonderful under the hood. Yes, indeed. Wow. Well, well, once again, I can't see much, <laughs> but I do see 427. Tell me about the engine. Well, the uh, the engine is actually, uh, we started with a six liter Chevrolet truck block, uh -huh. uh, boarded about 40 thousandths and uh, put a four and an eighth inch stroke crank in it. So it actually does displace 427 cubic inches, makes about 530 horsepower on the dyno. Wow, and, and how about the cover this time? Is that steel again or? That's the only composite piece on this car uh, made by Tim Fitzpatrick out in chip shop. Uh -huh. uh, Everything else is, is steel. This is neat though. This is sort of a, a, a hood under the hood. Exactly. Uh, it gives it a nice appearance when the hood is open. It's also functional in that all the air that comes through the grill opening has to go through the radiator. It can't bypass it. So we never have any cooling problems with this car. Wow. So Doug, like the, like the Grand Master, does this cool air do any road work? It does actually. Wes and Vivian uh, drove this car about 14,000 miles last summer. That would be some road work. <laughs> That'd be some bit. serious road work, as a matter of fact. Do you suppose Wes would mind if we took it out and did some road work in it? Hey, let's go for a ride. And again, uh, you mind if I. Uh... No, that's all right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my classic car. That fire showed up, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> and away we go. You know, it, it is kind of funny though, because you get into this, it's 54, but it's 55, and it, it, your mind is set for that era though. And this steering wheel, I just feel like I'm supposed to be out here someplace. The steering wheel's so little. Yeah, a lot more comfortable though, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. And you don't, you don't, you don't need all that leverage to crank it, because she's got power steering and undoubtedly rack and pinion. Yeah, it's actually C5 Corvette front suspension and brakes coilovers all around. It's an Art Morrison Max G chassis. So. Now have you ever, I mean, Wes has driven this 14,000 some odd miles. Have, have you ever had this thing on any sort of a track? Yeah, actually uh, it's it's been around Lowe's Motor Speedway and Kansas Motor Speedway and uh, we haven't drag raced it yet, but I think that might happen this summer. Uh, oh my, my we just, goodness. <laughs> we just ordered a set of drag radials for uh, it, so. You guys are nuts. <laughs> Completely nuts. And it, it does drive like a real modern car. We wanted this to be a, a very comfortable, drivable car, so um, we really put a lot of effort into the drivability when we were building it. So far, it's paid off. Yeah, I can say. Sounds so good. What, what do you have for an exhaust system on it? We actually built the exhaust system. Actually, Wes and I built built the headers. They're uh, tri-wide long tube headers, uh, and then we use Borla mufflers. Uh huh. So it's uh, three inch back to the mufflers, and then two and a half inches from the mufflers through the tailpipes. I like the feel, boy. You guys build nice cars. Oh, wow, thank you. It doesn't feel like a 54, does it? Not at all. And, you, and you're right, it actually, it really does kind of feel like a Corvette. <laughs> you can get in trouble with this car, you know? <laughs> yes, you're really, you could. You really could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a day we had up here in Grand Forks. You know, the only thing better than looking at Chip Foose cars is driving them. I gotta tell you, Chip designed some fabulous cars. Doug and his crew, they do a heck of a job in the build process. And Wes Rydell, he's kind enough to share them with us. What a guy. I sure hope he lets us come back.